Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing second in form, 86 rated in form, Juan Cuadrado. So in the seven matches I did play with this guy, he managed to get me three goals from the right back position. Now that doesn't really seem too good, um, just because I did actually also play him in the right mid position in game, and he also played him in the right back position because once I got into the matches, I realised that this card was just not a right back, and he plays much better in the right mid position. Um, so looking at his in-game stats now, as you can see he's got really good acceleration and really good sprint speed. Shooting wise in the shot power and long shot category is very very good. His passing stats as well, except his free kick accuracy and long pass are also very good. And then this guy has absolutely insane dribbling stats along with that 96 agility. And then also in the physical category isn't too bad. He's got stamina of 81, what actually in my opinion feels much lower. Um, but apart from that this card is very very good. Also guys, I'm now going to show you the team because a lot of people in the comment section below are asking what teams you know I do play these players in. So guys, now let's get into the team. So this is the team I did play second in form Quadrado win. It's a pretty cool team. I could have probably gone with like a few higher rated players, but I just wanted to keep, you know, very basic and very cheap. So in goal we got Morante, then I have a second in form Quadrado in the right back position. Then I have Willems, who also has four star score moves in the left back position. Then I have, I think it's Di Marco and um, Rugani in the two centre back positions. And then my first CDM is the team of the season Rabia, and he actually managed to pack that guy in the guaranteed team of the season pack. And then in the right centre mid position, I do have Tillemans. I could have gone with someone like Fabinho, but his normal card is like really expensive at the moment. And I don't really want to like buy his team of the season card because again, I think it's just way too expensive at this current time. Then moving over to the left centre mid position, now I have team of the season Boateng. I also did review this guy, so we'll leave a link to the description um, to the review. And this card is so, so good, um, as you've seen, as you will know, you know, if you've seen the review. And then in the cam position, I have Hatton Banafa. Then up front, I have Bald Adial and the player to link with Boateng. So guys, that is the team I used. Now let's get into the highlights. So now moving into the highlights for second in form Quadrado, the first pro I could found this card was his pace. Now this guy is so so fast, um, especially when dribbling this guy is just so so good because he keeps the ball so close to his feet and then combined with his pace you know it's so easy just to run past players. And then after that the next pro I could found this card was his dribbling. Now this guy's dribbling is honestly just some of the best on the game, it's just so easy to beat players as I've already said you know, he just keeps it so so close to his feet and especially when he's skilling his dribbling is just you know, like just it's just perfect. Perfect. He's just like the perfect dribbler on FIFA 18 in my opinion and then moving now into the final pro and that is this guy's agility Now this guy has 96 agility. What is just crazy? Um, it's just so so high and you can definitely feel this when performing skill moves It's like a sort of he's like a got a spring behind him when he just performed them He just performs them so so quickly and you can definitely see see it You know um, just from looking at these clips how fast he does perform the skill moves now after that We're gonna move into the cons now the first con I could find with this card was his defending now for a right back again Again, I wouldn't recommend to play this guy in the right back position just because his defending is absolutely terrible. Um, and then after that, the next con I could find this card was his stamina. Now, even though it does say he's got 81 stamina, well, it's all right. Um, he seems to get like tired really quickly, and I think maybe one of the reasons is just because this guy is so fast and he was always, you know, running around the pitch, so his stamina does go down very, very quickly. And so, but overall, this card is just so, so good. Honestly, I don't think I've ever had um, as much fun making a player review as with this card because he's so, so good for skilling, and I would even say he's definitely in my top three maybe even my top two favorite five star skillers on FIFA 18 and as you'll just see from these clips this guy's just so so good for scaling um, as you'll see he's just honestly one of the best players on FIFA 18 for scaling um, so also he's got a three star weak foot what again isn't the best but for like some reason it seemed to be a right for me um, but some people may put that down as a con but anyway guys this has been the highlights now let's get into the overview So now moving into the overview for second in form Quadrado, the first thing I'm going to rate him on is the value of coins. Now I decided to give him a 7 out of 10, um, he's going for around 110,000 coins at the current time of recording this video. Um, what in my opinion isn't a bad price for this card because you know he's an 86 rated um, in form and he plays for a good club, doesn't really have the best nationality but again I think this guy will drop quite a lot just because um, you know he's in a right back position and he doesn't really have good defending stats for a right back so I think this guy will um, drop in price um, quite a lot and this card is actually 
actually cheaper than his first in form at the moment so it does really show that people just really don't like having you know defenders with low defending stats but what you could always do is buy this guy and then use him as a super sub and like bring him on in like the right forward right wing or right mid position enjoyment wise I'm going to give this guy a 10 out of 10 this guy was so enjoyable to use as I've already said he was just so so good for scaling um, also had pretty decent long shots as you'll see from the video I scored at one a very nice long shot competitiveness wise I'm going to give this guy a 7.5 out of 10 as I've already said you know the stamina is not the best the three star weak foot isn't the best you know are quite a lot of you know pro players and competitive players would see that three star weak foot as a quite a big con so that's the reason why I decided to give him a 7.5 out of 10 and then scaling wise I think this is the first of a card I've given a 10 out of 10 and this is just he's just so so good for scaling they just can't put it into words he's just so so good until you use this card for scaling you don't like understand how good it is but the agility you know the pace and the dribbling you put them all together and you have a perfect scaler and that's what quadrado is if this guy gets like another in form in like a right wing or a right forward position he's going to be even better and i just can't wait so i'm going to give this guy an overall rating of a 9 out of 10 why he's one of the highest ratings i think i've given so far so guys if you have enjoyed this player review and want to see more fifa 18 player reviews on my channel we'll have another team the season review out tomorrow um, so don't forget to leave a like on the video. So yeah guys, thanks for watching and see you next time.